I'm Sal. I'm Beth. We're the brewery lovers. What are we drinking? Uh, we are drinking Flying Monkeys Quantum Hugs Cold IPA. This is an amazing can. If for no other reason, <laughs> you should get some of this. But cold IPA is a thing now. It's a thing. It's like uh, IPA, but then they lager it? What is it? I, I think that's what it is. We, I really, <laughs> had I known this was going to come up, I would have looked it up. I'm testing her craft beer, certified beer judge knowledge. Not certified But it's a yet. thing. It's, it's a, a thing. It's a new trend. All right, what do, you, what do we think of it? It smells like IPA. It's all hops. Yeah, it's real fruity. Fruit, citrus. I don't get a whole lot of pine, but it's definitely made, fruit. It's, it's made in Canada. But it's, yeah, it's Canadian. Kind of cool. A Canadian uh, craft beer. We we had a little reunion the other day with some friends down in Cape May, and uh, Norma brought this. Thank you, Norma. Thank you, Norma. Good stuff. Mm, yeah. It's yummy. The cold, I guess, the cold part, like, makes it maybe smooths it out, I would assume. That's the idea of lagering an ale. We'll figure it out. We don't know. It's a new thing. We learn stuff new all the time. Anyway, we're here to tell you about this place. We found this place in Yardley, Pennsylvania. Beautiful Bucks County. Bucks County is, I mean, just look at this. Bucks County is phenomenally beautiful just about all the time. And this was a particularly pretty day, but not a brewery. It's a greenhouse. We needed flowers for yeah. the flower bed. So why did the brewery lovers go to a greenhouse? Well, they have flowers and herbs and seeds. There's some basil and some whatever those flowers are. And burr, 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 hazy IPA. <laughs> yes, it's a greenhouse. And it's a brewery. Not a brewery. It's a, it's a pub. And they have craft beer. You can get your fertilizer, your grass seed, your uh, wildflower seeds, whatever you need. And you can shop. Fruits, trees. With a pint of beer in your hand. what What's not to love? They had these interesting beer koozies. They were made out of clay or Terracotta. porcelain. So <laughs> I use them for beer koozies. Why not? But here's where the magic happens. It's a greenhouse, but they have a pub. The pub is called Stone's Throw. Look, look at this. Look really at this place. It's place. gorgeous. Beautiful architecture. Stay inside, get a glass, take take your beer out into the the um, yard and you get a plastic cup yeah. and wander around with your beer in your hand. But it's just nicely decorated and uh, comfortable. We all, the people we've encountered here have always been super nice. They also have food. It's Pennsylvania. And we've had some of that food and it's pretty good. But uh, when they say drink local, they mean it. They, they only serve Pennsylvania products in the pub. So that's craft beer and uh, what cider is, what cider but wine they do have wine apparently we did not sample the wine as you know we, we don't do that <laughs> what were the breweries that were represented the day we were there well we had the new trail flint ipa and that's from williamsport and we had the trogues blizzard of hops and that's from hershey pennsylvania but they also had beers on tap that day from sly fox erie brewing victory and a cidery called rose bank but the wineries were also all Pennsylvania, but we didn't really uh, take note of them. But we always get good beer at this place, and it rotates. So every time you go, it's a little bit different selection. They don't have a huge number of tap handles, but there's always something that we find that we like. And the, the ones we had that day, I remember we liking them both. We liked them both. I don't think we wrote any uh, detailed tasting notes, but you guys don't care about that. Really. <laughs> And there was a Boring. variety. There was a stout. There was a stout, red. Yeah, Imperial IPA. There was IPA. a sour. Uh, right, right. The cider, a couple of hazies. Uh, they do a nice job with beer. Then you walk, you walk a little bit deeper into this place, and you find this unbelievably beautiful, organic grocery store. It's like, wow, this. And you, you maybe you don't even know it's there. You go there to get your uh, your tomato plants, and you end up, you know, looking at these beautiful fresh produce. It was strawberry season when we were there. And most of that is local too. Not all of it, but yeah, not all the can. Uh, jarred products like they have honey and pickles and lots cheese. of cheese the cheese is mostly local honey pickles jam and jelly that kind of thing and they're kind of from all over but there's also quite a bit of uh pennsylvania in there 
But just, the place is just drop dead gorgeous. And have we said the name yet? We haven't. Shady Brook. Shady Brook. Uh, then you walk in a little deeper, and they, it's a creamery. They make their own ice cream. They're famous for this lavender ice cream, which we have not tried. We've got to do that next time we're there. Although I don't think, we've never been there when the ice cream parlor was open. So you can't, like, get a little taste. We would have had to buy a whole pint. Just beautiful. There's a swing set for the kids. Here's this pergola thing where you can sit and have your adult beverage. A lot of pretty stuff. Um, lots of interesting yard decorations. and It's just pretty and colorful and fun. And, and they have beer. Like, what's not to love? They have this old truck that they kind of use as an icon. And uh, there we are, enjoying our adult beverage. Plastic glasses, but that's okay. Is that it? Well, I was going to get in there that they're famous because at Christmas time they do. Oh, yeah. Talk about the lights. lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about the lights. That is fun. <laughs> you drive your car through this thing and it just goes on and on and on. It's, it, yeah, that's probably what they're most famous for. A gazillion the, lights. Yeah, like who knows how many. They probably do. They probably have an estimate. But they make designs and they're animated and it's like it's famous, super fun. like Snow White, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And, you pay by the car load. Um, the Twelve Days of Christmas, like they actually have nine leaping lords and. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Five gold rings. Five gold rings. <laughs> they literally have what's in the song. Like it's pretty amazing. Uh, it's really fun. And uh, that's something that you look for, we look forward to if we're in that area, which we're not always, but at Christmas time. Thank you for mentioning that because I totally forgot. Okay, now I guess that's it, right? That's it. All right. See you guys next time. Don't forget Cheers. to subscribe. We'll Cheers. know more about cold IPA next, next time. Next time, cold IPA. <laughs>